never let up in his first ever show for the USO. USO officials commented, saying its stars and show will continue on, and that Bob Hope will be involved in future... Maggot. Puke. Worm. And scumbag. Just a few of the names I was given by my beloved drill instructor in the summer of 1941. Before then, my biggest problem was delivering groceries and not breaking the eggs. Now every time I turn around, some crazy Jap's trying to gut me. I remember asking the recruitment officer, What's the deal with you guys? I swear to God, he looked right through me and he said, Deal? We're Marines, son. And we deal in lead. Next thing I knew, I was on a train for San Diego. Soldier in for the Corps. Boot camp. to come across many barriers that you will need to navigate over, under, and through. This course will teach you the Marines' way of doing just that. If you think you have a better way, you can leave now and go show your mother you are government property. So you better do it my way, and you better like it. Come on, boys. We can do this better than that group. Let's show them what we got. Now get over that wall! Not bad, ladies! Now run through those tunnels! This here in front of you is the Marine's mud pit! Think of it as your own little swamp! Move out, Peggy! Now get on your belly and crawl like the words you are! So much! Hit those dummies with the butt of your rifle! Get across the pit using the balance board! Double time! Sergeant! Uh... I'm sorry You I... will not apologize! You will continue to destroy the enemy any way you can! What are you turd balls looking at? If the rest of you had half the strength of Private Minoso, I might actually have something to work with! Well, I can't believe you all made it through in one piece. Now let's see how you girls handle the business end of your weapon. Get your butts onto that transport and we'll finish on the firing range! Move it! Man, what a hard ass. You said it. Knock it off, you two. That was the hard part. Let's move! Who died and made him, boss? to my firing range. You will listen to every word I say. I have not lost a single scumbag on my firing line and I will not lose one today. Do you ladies understand me? Oh, now gather up some ammo, pick a spot on the range, and we'll get to work. Take one box each, boys, one box each. Hey, 
aim at the target in front of you. If you hit one, and I mean the bullseye, wait for it to be replaced with a new one. If you move, it will not be very accurate. So keep those boots planted. If you kneel down, you will be more accurate. And getting down in the dirt is even better. So try all three positions. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. Stand by, targets. Fire! available for use today. See how many hits you can get on the long-range targets. Just get me over to Germany and me and this rock will win that war all by our lonesomes. Doctor's cheap, Private. That's a pretty fair shoot. Let's see what you boots can do with the auto. You four head back to the ammo table and Corporal Bates there will issue you each an M1928A1 Thompson submachine gun. Do not let those rifles hit the dirt, maggots. These weapons are fully automatic. Now that does not mean that you should just spray and pray. Take your time to aim and fire the weapon in short bursts only. Not bad, man, not bad. Pick your rifles back up and let's move on to the heavier stuff. You forward with the rifles! The MP here will continue to supervise your apparent lack of shooting prowess. Let's go, men! Hold up, Private. I'm gonna need to take those weapons from you. First things first. Private Conlon, grab that demolition charge from the table. You'll see behind me that we have some beat up jalopies. Today, we're gonna blast the living hell out of them. Private Conlon here is gonna get things started. Private, get your sorry tail down there and plant that charge on one of those cars. That thing is live, so watch yourself.
Now get your butt back up here, Private! Good work, Private Conlon. You may just yet make PFC. Let's move over to the grenade station. All right, pick up a couple grenades. Don't worry, ladies, these are training grenades. You think I would trust you with a real grenade? No! Pull the pin and let them fly. See if you can hit some of those barrels out there. Pond scum. Some of you can do better, but it'll do. You don't need those anymore, Private. Now here we have my personal favorite. The M1919A4 30 caliber machine gun. I want two men. One is to act as a spotter and reloader. The other will fire the weapon. Come on, Tommy. I'll spot for you. This ain't my cup of tea. Okay, let her rip, ladies! <laughs> to the mortars. You may notice we have a fine piece of kraut craftsmanship on the mortar range. Well, you maggots are the first to get a crack at busting that jerry cab into scrap. The first recruit who gets his mortar set up and hits that truck will win my never-ending incredulous surprise! Except maybe for Minoso here, I most seriously doubt any of you will ever be in charge of anything but your own sorry-ass existence. However, there will be times when lives depend on one of you maggots making the right call in the field. I expect each of you to rise to such an occasion. Sullivan, there is a Marine bleeding to death in the open. You cannot reach him without support. Let me hear your call for suppressing fire. Suppressing fire! And also, you're one aggressive son of a bitch. I bet you'll be charging headlong into hell for the core. Let me hear you tell these pansies to move up with you. Move up! Outstanding. Gaines, you, on the other hand, strike me as someone who'll turn tail and piss himself at the sight of an advancing enemy. Am I right? No drill, Sergeant! Well, ain't that a shame! If the combat situation dictates, you may need to do just that. You are heavily outnumbered, Private, so you better tell your squad mates to fall back. Fall back! Good. I don't care if you're sucking face with Rita Hayworth herself. You hear a Marine call out, you best respond. Private Conlon, you are being fired upon. 
Your squad is out of position. You need to get your fire team back into formation. So let's hear you rally these boys. Gather up over here. Good, let's go. All right, men. That's enough for today. Good work out there. But oh my God, Gaines! You've just been shot! Hit the deck! I said hit the deck! Now, there's two things to do if and when you are hit by an enemy in combat. Number one, apply pressure to the wound. Next, if you can, call for a corpsman. If you're lucky, one will be around somewhere nearby. Private Sullivan, I understand you have a medical background. Yes, Sergeant. Well, lucky us. Make your way over there a bit and play doc for us. Conlon, you take Private Gaines over to dock to get him patched up and then hightail it back over here ASAP. Your little girlfriend is bleeding out, Conlon! Get him to your corner! You squeeze me there, Tommy. Hey, thanks for the ride, Tommy. Well done, Private Conlon. But you've just been shot as well! Hit the deck! Apply pressure to that wound, Private, or we will lose you! Now, call on that corpsman so we can get you patched up and back into action. All right, men. Good work today. I do believe that with a little more work, you may have a fighting chance. Let's get scrubbed up for mass. Move out!